Day two started after a sleepless night in the Springer Mountain Shelter. And um, because of my own laziness, I didn't want to make a tent, pitch a tent night before I slept in shelter and I had a uh, fight with mice all night long. So I have not slept. And according to Ranger, so when you start the Mekalola uh, Falls approach trail, there is an orientation um, led by rangers and they basically tell you what to do, what not to do, give you some tips, some advice. A lot of it is very helpful and also one of the main tips is start slow. So to any hiker, doesn't matter your level, they suggest 8 to 10 miles and of course uh, my ego heard that and like, I don't hike 8 to 10 miles, <laughs> like we're gonna do 15. So um, my day two, I set for myself to do 15 and a half, even though uh, Ranger had suggested only go to Hawk Mountain uh, or Hawk Shelter. So I got to Hawk Shelter and it was maybe one-ish. I ate lunch and was still one-ish. And I'm like, I'm not gonna stand here, sit here all day. And um, I'm gonna hike to Good Shelter where I wanted to be according to my plan that I made home. And this was a good lesson. Um, because I want to emphasize for myself and for others, learn from others, but then apply to yourself. Uh, just because somebody says eight to 10 miles, it might be well worth for many, but maybe specifically not for you. So I did attempt my 15.5 mile hike on my day two. I did succeed, it was hard. The last mile and a half after the last spring, I actually walked in my camp shoes and my kind of like slipper type things. My feet were tired. What I've been doing both days, I have been dipping um, my toes in a cold spring water somewhere where people are not collecting water. I just stand there and it's basically my anti-inflammatory treatment. Um, so long, long day, very rewarding. Got to go with pitch the tent very tired pitched the tent not paying attention night was pretty windy and um, i have a two-person msr tent fly light which is uh, incorporating my hiking poles as a setup to build it and during the night i had to get up twice because my hiking poles were collapsing and i was waking up with the tent on my nose uh, so again not so much of a good sleep um once again, even if tired, just have to have to somehow focus on either settling in the shelter or pitching the tent the right way. Otherwise, it's um, not easy to hike um, when you have not slept. Met a lot of nice people from many different states. Um, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, but yeah, there, there are people from nearby to, from trail uh, so like Georgia and bordering North Carolina South Carolinas uh, there are people from West Coast people from California a lot of people from Michigan in my uh, experience then uh, higher up north uh, there was a guy actually who flew from India to to hike this uh, which I thought was really really cool and uh, yeah so that was my day two uh, I took advice and I applied uh, it my way and I also think what would be good for me is to start piling shorter days on the top of longer and then again shorter so let's say my first day was shorter my second one was long I'm gonna make sure I go a little bit shorter on a third day and kind of uh, see if that will get me to my steady 15 a day eventually